I, I said, well, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to play against you. He goes, get the fuck up. <laughs> and I go, I, I'm in my suit. Get the fuck up. I stood up. He goes, how the fuck would you guard me? And I put my, I gave him a, like a forearm to the back. He goes, I'd fucking torch you. And I sit down and Phil goes, you see what I dealt with? Really quick, before I begin, if you guys can smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, this seriously makes a huge difference to my videos and lets YouTube know to recommend this video to a brand new audience. So thank you so much for doing that, and let's begin. I, I think I truly enjoyed interviewing Jordan after those championship games. That I had, uh, I had something that nobody else had. And I, I wanted to be there to just, I wanted to witness history. And I enjoyed it so much as a fan. And there are guys who love to be competitive when you interview them. There's certain guys that make you work for an answer. Uh, they like the back and forth. And I love that. that jo that's as close as I would ever get to competing with Jordan is I'm there sitting next to him live on TV on SportsCenter. And I, I get to go at him a little bit and he can come back and there's no net. And I, and I love that. And I, I thought that that was something I'm, I've probably given far too much credit, but it was something I took great pride in, in making sure that I was giving you something different with Michael Jordan. I always felt like there was something different about him with you. I, I felt like he liked you. Did you feel that? I think he respected me. And it, like it was mutual that I obviously respected him. I respected his time. I didn't know him, but he would always say, I'm not going to come on after every win. I'll come on after every championship. And I just love that attitude that, hey, I, game three, I'm not coming in. But when we win the championship, when we win the championship, I'm coming in. And he, that last time in Utah, when Mike comes in, he's got his jersey out. He's soaked in champagne, Cuban cigar. He's got the basketball with him. Michael came in, sat down. Phil Jackson came in, was waiting to come on right after Michael. And when we got done with the interview, I thought that's the last time I was going to see Michael. Yeah, you know, I, I thought that was it. He had just won, beat Utah. This is it. And when he got up and we went to commercial break and I said, man, it's a shame you're retiring. And he goes, why? I, I said, well, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to play against you. He goes, get the fuck up. <laughs> and I go, I, I'm in my suit. Phil Jackson's right there with me. We're coming back from commercial break. I'm bringing in Phil. Get the fuck up. I stood up. He goes, how the fuck would you guard me? And I put my, I gave him a, like a forearm to the back. He goes, I'd fucking torch you. And then he walked out and I, like I had to kind of regroup. I had probably 45 seconds to go. Okay. I got Phil. And I sit down and Phil goes, you see what I dealt with? And then I welcome back to sports center, Chicago Bulls and one Phil Jackson joins us now. And I just love that with Jordan. He was never, he could never, ever say, I'm not competitive right now. I just want a champion. Ah, what'd you say? I, I said, I'd like to guard you. Get the, you know, like that was Mike. That, that, he had that look where I could have been Reggie Miller. I could have been Kobe and he would have given them the same look. <laughs> 